Ghana go thing say if we talk about our winning once, we we'll go leave them. <laughs> Say we prepare. <laughs> <laughs> See, so that decide to rebel against us. I just have to do something with the annoyed people. I just have go do this thing now. Ghana has go hate football. <laughs> Now they say that like this, so generation has something they take stance. <laughs> you go here say, Ghana has done touch football. <laughs> they gonna want their children if you want to touch it. Don't touch it, oh! Hey! Our people, uh, uh, Charlie, our people know they play, they know they play football. <laughs> you ask and daddy why? Don't worry, I don't know why. <laughs> He's getting to that extent. As a matter of fact, Federal government is supposed to give Nigerians one week to celebrate. <laughs> we don't suffer for this country. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. What did happen now? What did happen for this Nigeria versus South Africa? People they celebrate the goal, they celebrate the match with their emotion. <laughs> I beg, make girls know they come here when they watch match. <laughs> One girl nearly bites me. No, hey. nearly she bites me. <laughs> People they celebrate with what they feel before. <laughs> you go see person they celebrate, they cry. You go see that tears of joy and lie. <laughs> now pains where he passed through before. <laughs> go. <laughs> Ah, Stanley! Fed me, you broke my heart! We'll begin to call people when they break their hearts before. I got the ass. Now, the same football will still they watch. Guess more when they come closer. <laughs> The highest celebration we will not get since. Okay. <laughs> like this now, a federal government. Federal government just did one side. I see as our vice president take the envy footballers, the envy uh, uh, football sector, the envy out for their mind. Uh, so people can love this sector like this. <laughs> yes, now. If we not do well now, we will begin to love one like that. <laughs> you will be a You know, see as we love our less OT. <laughs> Once you do well, we will they love you. <laughs> I bet you say the law when they, they give you to be that fake. Now, <laughs> based on what you know they do. <clears throat> now, one do well now. When I just carry, as that Naira, the four, the four. I just carry this Stanley. Mwabala. Make a minister of defense on currency. <laughs> Anything with that guy defend this stand. <laughs> Make it defend Naira. <laughs> Mwabala, defend that Naira. <laughs> Nara will never fall again. <laughs> Mamma mia. Very hopeful that it is our turn for the trophy. Our local. Your Excellencies. The Governor of Nasrawa State, Minister of Federal Capital Territory, the Secretary to the Government of Federation, Minister of Housing and Urban Development. I listen to you. The diligent planning between your office and my office took a while. I was asking, when are we going to have a groundbreaking, not a tornado? <laughs> and you said I should, I can go on my vacation, come back to do the groundbreaking. Here we are today. We are certain 
the goalpost right. It means Nigeria is winning the cup. Other ministers here present. All the senior government officials that have supported this program today. Our royal fathers and our community developers and community leaders. Distinguished members of the media, it is a great honor for me to make this historic groundbreaking here today. I've listened carefully to the Ibu Minister's theme on the housing development. He understands how to propel the engine of growth, stability, economic resurgence of Nigeria. You saw the vision when we took the ministry out of the cloakroom and make it its own independence visionary path for greatness. We know the value of housing. We appreciate the fact that it is an elixir for economic prosperity, job creation, hopefulness. Here again, let's talk to Nigerians, let's talk to ourselves, and see everything positive about our country. Yes, there's a trip of uh, air conditioning system here. Okay, we were born in the heat, we stay in it. It's our country. <laughs> Even some of you born the Kandu or never know the Kandu when you were studying. Don't be spoiled. Don't think of your country negatively. Before I left home this morning, I asked for the pledge. They print out of it. And we have to relaunch it. Relaunch it to be committed to the value, the greatness, the hope of our country. It is our country. You pledge to Nigeria your country, my country, to be faithful Lawyer and honest. To serve Nigeria with all your strength. You saw it on the field of play yesterday. You are all rejoicing. Every one of us love victory. We love to win. When you are positive, and you are hopeful, Nigeria is winning. We did say it will be hard Dorado, smooth all the way through, but we are confident that this country, this country, we exert in all ramification at it. 
We will defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory in every way possible. Because we are Nigerians. We have no other country. Where we are lodging and groundbreaking, shelter is a necessity. It's a human right. And we are here just to do that. Set the record straight. From this site, granite cellar, we eat. From this site, water cellar, we make a living. From this site, nail sellers, carpenters, others, roof makers, we make a living. Brick and mortar. We stand the test of a time and bring the glory of Nigeria brighter than we met it. <clears throat> Nigerians, don't look back. Look forward. Be hopeful, be assured that you have a country that cares about you and you must care about the country. You have had the data from the Honorable Minister and his team what they are about to do to turn the country to a large construction site for housing units. That's all I need to remind you. Standing before you as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I pledge to Nigeria, my country. Being faithful and committed to the economic development and prosperity of every one of you. We are given a little trust. But we build on that trust to assure you today, tomorrow, and day after of prosperity that we can create. Putting housing and the oblique corner of our vision is not the right thing. The best thing we are doing now is putting housing on the front burner of our needs. I want to say thank you, the Honorable Minister, the Minister of State, and all the team, the civil servants, and so especially Thank you to the National Assembly for the accelerated review of the budget and passing of it. When we all work together, we can build together and we will achieve together a great country for the prosperity of all of us. May God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much.